Hey there guys, Stephen from Leon Work Solutions here. And today on Spread the Knowledge Mondays, we're going to be talking about a subject that a lot of people really seem to enjoy, but not a lot of people explain how to set up, and that is comms. And today we're using the Beofeng UB5R. This is one of the most readily accessible radios on the market. It is a fantastic radio, but as it comes from factory, it leaves some things to be desired. Some of the things where it's not really optimized for tactical use and using it in pouches. And here I'm going to show you how to change that. So one of the first things that I like to remove is this big honking clip over here. I don't like this because when you stick it into pouches it kind of tends to overlap like that. It gets in the way and it overall makes the radio just a little bit fatter and doesn't really feel that comfy. Especially when the inside of a cummerbund in a plate carrier. So one of the first things we're going to do is remove this clip. And it's a simple little Phillips screwdriver. You just unscrew that out just like so. There's one screw. Go over the second one. And there goes the second. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to toss this guy out. So right now you have these two tiny little screws that go into these little holes right here. But we're going to save these for later. I'm going to show you why. One of the second upgrades that I like to do immediately as soon as I get a Bang Fang UV5R is this little battery. Um, this battery is good, but it makes the radio a little bit small and frankly it lasts, I don't know, maybe like half a day or so. But what I like to do is I like to remove this battery and swap it out for one of these larger Baofeng branded UV5R batteries. And it makes the battery so much more... Uh, how do you say, usable. If you're using small spurts at a time, it'll last you up to a week. If you use it continuously, this can last up to 12 or more hours, which is fantastic. But my favorite upgrade is the fact that, unlike the standard battery that requires the cradle charger that plugs into the wall, this little guy right here has a little charging cable. If you buy one of these cables, it allows you to plug it in just like so. And then plug this into a USB power bank, which is fantastic when you're in the field, rather than having to carry extra batteries or like a wall charger. This is amazing. Um, one of the things after I like to do after I expand the battery is this antenna leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of the overall, um, how do you say, the distance it can transmit to. So luckily the antennas on these guys are removable. You just unscrew them and gone with it. What am I, one of my favorite replacements is this little Arby, sorry, Abri, 18-inch uh, whip antenna. So these things are quite long, as you can see. But since they are whip antennas, they are nice and flexible. What I like to do is they come with this little uh, one wrap at the bottom. So what I like to do is I fold it into thirds. And once it's done... It folds up pretty nice and small, so when you don't need all that distance to transmit, you can keep it nice and tiny. However, when you need that reach, you can just undo the one rep and bada bing, bada boom, there goes your ability to transmit farther. So that just screws on just like so. Just like that. So, and one of the final upgrades that I like to do to these UV5Rs is notice how I kept the little screws on, didn't put them out is because these Beofeng radios have a really bad tendency to accidentally, especially when they're in pouches, to accidentally get turned on. This is your little push to talk button. And another big issue that I've encountered just using them is these little, the power switch and the volume knob is just exposed. So whenever something brushes up against it, it can easily turn on. And one of the worst things that I've encountered is the fact that you accidentally turn your radio on by brushing it up against a piece of gear, and next thing you know, your battery's passively draining, and when you need your radio, it's dead. So, one of the things I enjoy is these little cages. Uh, this is a little 3D printed cage. Um, this one is off a guy on Etsy called 3D Melty, I want to say, and it's very quite simple. It's a very simple product, but it does a fantastic job. So you slide it over the top, and all it does is it provides a little cage for your volume knob and just prevents it from getting smacked around and turned on an accident. There's still a little bit of reach for your finger in there so you can actually get in there and turn it on when you want to, not to do it on accident. It also has a little cage for these buttons so you don't press them. So all you do is 
Put your little screws in, just like so. Oh, come on. Do the thing. There we go. Come on. Do the thing. There you go. Now we got a little screwdriver. And re-tighten that in place. Obviously, screwing in is going to ensure that this cage stays put and doesn't prevent it from falling off. There we go. So now, our radio has a nice little cage preventing the PTT from getting pushed, but it's still accessible. If you dig your finger in there, you can still activate it. And your volume knob is protected. So now, one of the few tiny little things, um, I the, normally this has a little flap right here. I personally cut mine off, because this basically lives in a plate carrier. And I don't like to have the little flap sticking out because it's just unnecessary extra material. But since you're not going to be using this thing Taliban style, you want to have a push to talk. This little push to talk is just a simple device that reroutes the PTT from the side of the radio to this little guy right here. And then your Peltors or whatever comm system you have plugs in here. And then you, whenever you want to speak, you press that and you let go whenever you want to stop. And so this plugs in right in there. And this plugs in nice and solid, and now you have a pretty much damn near perfect setup for a Beovang UB5R. There's only one little downside. Sometimes these like to pull themselves out just like so when just being handled. So one simple little mod I like to do is I get a little piece of bungee cord, tie a knot on the end and melt the end so it doesn't fray. And what I like to do is quite simple. I grab it. I stick it up and leave it right there. So right now that's not pushing my PTT. And whenever I want to use my PC and I ensure that it doesn't get released, I just stick it under there. And I plug it in. And now, since I have this little bungee cord right there, this is actively applying pressure to the inside of the radio, ensuring that this just doesn't get released. So, yeah. And then all you got to do is just put this in your plate carrier, route these wires, and you are ready to go.